Okay, good morning everyone. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is for you guys and girls. Maybe even it's good night. Looks like this is the start of the day. And I forgot to take these out. For the most part. I actually drove by the warehouse. I can't tell you how many things. Those over there. Yeah, let's grab this guy. Yeah, I drove by the warehouse a couple times. And every time I drove by, I was like, man, I had to take those lamps out. I had to take those lamps out. I think I drove by probably three times. Anyway, welcome back. Let's see if we can find the garbage today. Let's let this car go. Let's make it a fun day of adventuring with Taco Stacks. What's been thrown out in the garbage? Let's get into it. Here's, I think, for like a soccer ball or a football or a basketball. It's one of those things you throw the ball at. And if you don't have any friends like myself, you just bounce it right back to you. It's actually a great invention who ever thought of it. Of course I have friends. Everyone who's watching this video is my friend. Oh, that looks funky. Just like my parking. Wow. Parked sideways there. Another thing you need friends with. Someone needs to pull you with one of those. You can't really pedal. I believe this pool thing is aluminum. I bet you this thing would sell, just because it's so different. Strange and interesting always sells. And more aluminum. going with a double whammy here so I used these signs for when I sold that lease port and it was perfect Perfect. but I don't remember if I had extras or something came up I don't know if it wasn't Columbus where I was like you know I like a, another one but I don't want it to be as tall oh, this is broken whatever I'll scrap it I'll just I'll just take this and throw it away and scrap those. So that doesn't help. I can't remember where I was for that though. Oh, this is the house where the dog barks, but it sounds like it's crying. I don't hear a barking. Nope. We got ourselves a cat. Grab a nose is sometimes it just 
take up so much space that you can't like throw something on top because it won't slide. I think I've picked up four or five of those things. Okay, well this kind of stinks because these weights are still pretty valuable. And uh, my friend Jeff goes down to Play It Again Sports, which is by Philadelphia. I actually made a video going there and I was pretty salty, let's put it that way. Uh, they were very, very picky with stuff that I knew had actual value that I put aside just because I wanted to see how much value they would give me. And it was more like, yeah, we're not even interested in buying it. And I'm like, it's a $100 golf club. They sell for like 80 to 100 on eBay used, you know? And they're like, yeah, we're not even interested. It's like, not even five bucks? I'm like, nah, not really. So I got really salty. Um, but they're really into weights. Like these. However, they don't want those. They want like the metal ones. Whether it be dumbbells or weight plates. It would be nice to put this back. Clay, they can't be the concrete. Those are not. Those are like plastic rubber mixed with clay. Anyway, Jeff is my friend. He goes there quite often and he says they're paying 50 cents a pound for the metal stuff. It's a pretty decent amount of money. Ah, nice tundra there. So I've been contemplating getting a new Jeep. Uh, I'm kind of sick of it. Maybe I don't even want a Jeep anymore. Maybe I'll just stick with a van, but I was kind of thinking about getting a Tundra. I was never a huge fan of Toyotas. Just based off of looks. I mean, obviously, like, they're the best, most reliable vehicle. Some people might disagree, but I think car and truck people probably can agree with that statement that they're most reliable. I just don't see myself getting a truck when I have a van. However, the Tundras are kind of speaking to me. Okay, this is, did somebody collect these? like dirt on it almost like they kept in their backyard maybe they had a scrap pile and then they're like ah we're never going there can't tell if this is a really good score or i just totally did not see what i thought i saw i think this bin is filled with wire no that's cable uh, what is that? That's wire. Now, is that the good stuff? I don't know. That's not the good stuff. But is this the good stuff? I don't know. Can't can't tell unless you find like the end of it. Take this. Finding a lot of metal today. Did I find anything besides metal? I don't think so. But scrap metal is up. The scrapyard I go to, their baler, I think, is down. 
what I mean by it's down, it means it doesn't work. And since it doesn't work, their pile is ginormous. I mean, their pile of metal probably is, I would say, at least at least eighty thousand dollars worth. Probably the resale value, probably one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars worth. And when I say at least eighty thousand, it can be one hundred and twenty thousand. But that's a lot of metal to just have sitting in one spot. I mean, it's it's tall. I'm not gonna say it's as tall as this water tower, but it's probably. I would say uh, definitely to the top of this building. And then I don't know how how long, maybe a little bit longer than the length of that house, like going that way. It's pretty big. So left us some space over there. Ooh, those things are nice. I don't need combs though. And I feel awkward taking cones out of the trash. I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. I bet the cones are probably expensive. I bet they're probably garbage, but I don't need them. I'm going to edit this so you don't see me pick up each individual one. just, I mean, are we ever going to find anything besides metal today? The world might not know. There was actually a car parked here, so I sat here for I don't know how long until the car moved, because it was literally right here. I kind of felt awkward walking up and grabbing this right in front of it. There are people like getting in and out. Don't ask me what they were doing. Heck was that? Oh. But yeah, now I got uh, got some projects here. This is a really nice fan. It's got that modern look. I don't know if this is uh, gonna go out of style soon. This farmhouse modern look. I really like it, but I don't really have a gajillion dollars to buy everything brand new when repurpose my house maybe one day but I don't know if we'll find anything besides metal I mean it's uh, maybe we will maybe we won't we'll find things though I can almost always guarantee we'll find stuff out here on trash day oh man what do we got here it's like they're throwing away the whole house oh wow what the heck? Who are you working with? Brooks Robinson. He's pretty well known. Now these are store model bats. Telltale sign, what's on the bottom? I know we talked about this a million times, but the 4 means it's a 34 inch model bat. It has a model number. Those are the good ones. And what was the other one? I know people are probably curious for any baseball fans out there. I think it says Norm Cash. Don't know who that is. I know who Brooks Robinson is. Ancient arrow, or a bow, I should say. Arrow. 
arrows. Kind of like that wooden thing, you know. It's kind of cool. I guess I'll grab it. Is it broken on the top? I think it's supposed to be like that. All right, I stepped on metal somewhere. Oh, here it is. Be generous. Look, we found something that's not metal. Well, let's see if we'll survive the trip. Ow. That kind of hurt. Alright. Oh. Gotta keep that spot in mind. The reason why I'm not grabbing those cups is that, that box is pretty dirty. It kind of has that, like, basement smell to it, like a basement feel. You know, like old moldy cups kept in the basement for the last 40 years. I don't know what you'd really do with them. I wouldn't drink out something like that. Regardless if it's in the plastic or not. Plus that plastic's probably got hot and then it's got cold how many times? Oh. We played the guessing game. Are those chairs across the street aluminum or are they steel? The world might never know. I do follow a handful of people who uh, talk about metal futures. A lot of people are saying aluminum's gonna go up, but aluminum is at like its highest. It's like average highest, I should say. Those mattresses are going to be there for a while. Um, these are also aluminum. So for these, I used to take them all apart. Now I kind of get lazy with them. I kind of just cut off the base because the base is all aluminum. There's a steel plate usually in this piece. So I just leave that. And then I scrap all that is dirty aluminum and I, I scrapped the plate as clean aluminum. That's kind of what I do with that. If you really want, you can probably cut it off here, cut it off there, and that will be clean aluminum. It's the difference between 40 cents and 10 cents per pound. But if there's steel inside that, uh, there's any steel that's inside here, you're not getting it out unless you like really really do a lot of work so it never really pays to go that far with that kind of stuff a lot of the lawn furniture has steel in it because steel is heavier that's for the wind in case it gets windy let's have a chance for it to get blown down the street what's this wood thing over here that's a hot wheels box it's just a piece of wood. I had one low dresser drawer, probably like a side table drawer. It looks like there's a lot of metal up there, which I'm at the point now, I'm not getting full, but I don't know if I can lift the stuff that's over there. So don't want to break this at all, which I'm a knucklehead for not taking out, but that's beyond the point. Ooh, that's got a lot of glass over here. So slide around. I'll lay it down on the ground. There you go. Alright, we'll put 
that there. drive up here and then I'll evaluate how how much of this I can fit. Not to have anything back here I didn't want to break. Not really. I think everything's over there. This I'll probably have to move. Well, this will have to separate anyway, so... It's just a matter of, can I bury things or not? take off all the small stuff, but the big thing, I'm just going to have to leave it. And if I had a pickup truck, I would have uh, been done an hour ago. But just because you have a cargo van doesn't mean you can really fit a lot of heavy stuff, because it's like you just can't lift it as high as the cargo van is. There's always like all this space up here is kind of dead space because I can't lift it that high. Also, I don't think this is stainless, but it might be. Ah, it is. I got in there anyway. Didn't realize how light it would be after you get everything else off it. Oh, you just have to remember I can't open up that one door. Oh wait, that should be too hard to, for to not forget. And I can open up the right door, so we'll do that. Yes, that works. My baseball bat get oh the baseball bat's cracked. It's been cracked, but that always hurts the value on those bats. But most likely they're not since it's a vintage bat. I don't think people are really buying it. Like that like I said, it's a store model bat. They're not buying it to use it. So yes, yeah, so being cracked or chipped definitely hurts the value, but it's probably gonna be a, a flea market five dollar once uh when somebody who likes baseball comes around and sees it, they'll buy it for five bucks. 
Okay, I think we still have space for a handful of other items. I'm shocked I fit that, fit that one thing in there. Yeah, these are good boxes. Good flats. Still gotta go to the beer place and ask them, you know, hey, do you have any flats? We have to do that, but I don't really consume a lot of beers anymore, so I kind of feel awkward going in there and be like, yeah, I kind of just have like a hundred boxes, but I'm not going to buy anything. I just, I don't know, I'm one of those people who drink two beers and get a headache. So I guess at my ripe age, I'm kind of done with it. amazing how much stuff we're finding today and I have days where like literally the video is eight minutes long and I'm stressing to find three items but days like today it's just never ending oh man that's got some weight I, uh, I think I will have to go home and do some separating I don't know if I'll be able to do a recap. I think that door's about done too. I make one turn and everything moves, I can't open that door again. Well, let's see how much space we have. I'm kind of running out of town, but I'm definitely running out of space. I don't really want to crush my stuff I have over here, but I don't know if I'll crush it. If I put, yeah, these things look light. All right. So uh, let's hope for the best here. Pretty easy little. Oh, they don't look like it. They're not. that's the issue it's the odd items like these things aren't like boxes you know I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of this that's heavy. I'm gonna have to leave one I don't want to open that side door because I think if I open the side doors things are falling out I'm not really worried about this bushel basket as much as I'm worried about the bows arrow I think that's it. I ain't. No. I'm trying to see what that side door looks like. Uh, maybe things didn't fall over. Uh, maybe not. Uh, uh, I have all this dead space right there, which is aggravating. I can't put anything over here because that's where those lamps are. It always works out that way, you know? Same thing with like, people say, why don't you bring boxes? Why don't you bring bins? I think I talked about this recently. The day you bring boxes and bins or the day you don't find anything. Just like going to an auction. And people say, why don't you bring a hand truck? The day you bring the hand truck is the day you can't buy one thing. You don't bring the hand truck or you bring your car rather than your truck. It's a day where everything goes for like 50 cents. It's almost like you kind of being unprepared is better than being prepared. I feel like I have to get this just because they put it to the side. You gotta play the long game here. I don't know what, what you're fitting in this thing. They gonna throw it up front. Throw it up front because I'm scared to open that door. I don't know what you're gonna put in there, but that's probably good for like if you want to like have sweet peas or corn, something small like a side. Other than that, you're going to fit like one chicken wing in there, like one drumstick. Not a whole lot.
thing looks expensive. Julian Pro. Please go that space. It's still filled with gas. All right, so wow, what a day it was. Um, I have been posting more on my Instagram. Also, I know people have been asking me, hey, can I see more behind the scenes stuff? Can you do more behind the scenes vlogs? Um, I do post quite a bit on my story on Instagram. So if anyone out there wants to see it stuff, uh, go over there and follow me. I know I have to boost my uh, social media presence, so to speak. Uh, it's at taco underscore stacks. Thank you for all the followers over there as well. Um, and thank you for an awesome day of treasure hunting. Wow, it's been a while since you really packed the van. Yeah, I guess I still had a lot of space to throw stuff up here, but I didn't want to crush my lamps, which have been in there for quite some time. You can see this metal is already resting on it. Um, so I'm going to run to the scrapyard right now and uh, drop this stuff off. Realistically, uh, I would say there's probably, once I sort all the, uh, the stainless and the aluminum and probably even that crate oh yeah i forgot about the fan the crate and the fan there's probably about 70 to 80 dollars worth of scrap metal in here uh not including the other handful of items like this bike which i'll probably sell for ten dollars and handful of other items that i might have picked up in there oh yeah the baseball bats the uh that wood table that's on the other side of all this stuff uh, so there's probably a little bit over a hundred dollars 120 dollars worth of value in the van that we picked up so it's been a while since we really scored well and did a uh, did find a bunch of stuff, uh, so it's been fun. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure runs. And yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that'd be awesome as well. It's at taco underscore stacks. And I'll catch you guys and girls uh, on the next trip, next adventure. Who knows what will be? It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.